Tip number three, fall in love with the process and not with the moment. The thing about me is that I have so many different interests, cooking, working out, editing, technology, so many different things. And it was so confusing, you know, because I said, you know, do I, you know, make an investment here or do I change career paths or, you know, do I pivot over there? And God had to really provide me with some clarity and said, stop focusing so much on the interests and focus more on what you're actually in love with, which is the process, the system, how it works from beginning to end. This is why I can get started on an interest and then quickly change to another interest because I'm in love with the process, not the application itself. I have an interest in the application, but it doesn't mean I have to change my whole world for that one application. And when God revealed that to me, it was such a big relief. So many of the opportunities, so many of the decisions were cleared off the table so that I could be divinely focused on just the process. And not stuck on the moment. Because when I was stuck on the moment, I was doing some toxic things. Like for example, I would read a book and literally stop maybe 50 pages before the end because I wasn't ready for what was to come afterwards. I was uncertain. If I stop reading this book, then, then what? What do I read next? So I was just stop shy and never pick it up. I know it sounds silly, it sounds, sounds ridiculous, right? But that's what I did. And I'm quite sure I did that in other areas of my life. But God was saying, hey, I got plenty for you. Your, this whole world that I've built is full of applications, it's full of interests, it's full of ideas. I need somebody like you that's in love with the process, that's in love with the system to work with those things. One of my favorite Bible characters is Joseph. I love Joseph. I love his way of thinking and his way of navigating through each situation he was in. Most people, when they think about Joseph, they think about his dreams or his coat of many colors um, or feeding the many uh, hundreds of thousands of people around the world from Egypt. But when I see Joseph, I see him as a system engineer, very much like myself. Somebody that really enjoy the process, that no matter what situation, application, project he was in, he was always consistent. He always received favor from those that were superior to him, right? And he always respected the people that were inferior to him, no matter what he did. He was a wonderful manager. And so God used them for greater things. If you're faithful with little, you can be faithful with much. And I had to tell myself that. I said, come on, Kev, be faithful with the little that you have so that you can attain much. Understand the process, respect and love the process. It doesn't mean I don't celebrate moments. I do. And I think moments to be celebrated are, are wonderful. But I always know that they're going to be another event. There's going to be another experience. There's going to be another moment to celebrate. But the process, beginning, middle, and end will always be there. And so I focus on that, and that really helps me stay on the straight and narrow, no matter what season or place I am in my life. I told myself, I said, your strengths are in planning and strategizing. That's great. Your weaknesses are in acting. What can we do every single day to act towards your goal? A baby step watching a video, writing down a, a, a plan, a, a budget, and, and, and trying to play that thing through, even with the little resources that you may have for that particular project. I can manifest it from here to the world. And the only person I was stopping that was myself. So I pushed myself aside. And I started saying, stop looking for permission. Stop looking for permission from other people and other things and situations. Go ahead and act today. Act today. And act is what I did. And if this has been motivating for you, go ahead and like and subscribe. I want you to go all in on your process. I want you to start removing day by day the different doubts, the different limiting beliefs, the people, the things that are holding you back. You can do it. I did it. I know you can do much more. So with that being said, Backpack Kev, and I'll talk to you later.